Hello friends, today we will be discussing about fatty acid biosynthesis. You know we have different kind of biochemical pathways going inside our cells to generate diversity of molecules for different purposes. And this one generates fatty acids. Like we have all the cells having cell membrane which is composed of lipid bilayers that forms a part of a cell. So these fatty acids are one of the essential molecules present in our cell. First of all, we see the location of fatty acid biosynthesis is the cytosol of cell in case of animals. But if we see in case of plants, it's chloroplast stroma. But in this case, we'll be discussing about fatty acid synthesis in animals. That's in the cytosol. Now let's get into the detail first. The fatty acids are synthesized from a molecule called acetyl CoA or simply we can say acetyl coenzyme A. If you remember this molecule acetyl coenzyme A or simply acetyl COA, we get to know that this acetyl COA is a production of glycolytic pathways. At the end of glycolysis, we get pyruvate, you know that, in cytoplasm because this glycolysis occurs in cytoplasm. This pyruvate is then transported to mitochondria for the production of acetyl coenzyme A. This pyruvate gets into the mitochondria and in mitochondria, it releases the acetyl coenzyme A. And from this acetyl coenzyme A, the cell is able to synthesize fatty acids. But we have a little problem here. We see the acetyl coenzyme A is present in mitochondria. Good? And fatty acid synthesis occurs in cytosol. So they are at different points in the cell. Or we can say they are at different points that is demarcated by a membrane, mitochondrial membrane. So there should be any mechanism which will transport this acetyl coenzyme A into cytosol so that fatty acid biosynthesis can be driven. And for this we have a mechanism called acetyl COA shuttle system which transports this acetyl COA molecule out of the mitochondria into the cytosol for fatty acid biosynthesis. So in this video we'll be discussing about acetyl COA shuttle system first which will be a part first of biosynthesis and in the next part of the video, we'll be discussing about the fatty acid biosynthesis in detail after we get over this shuttle system. Now, let's see the shuttle system now. In the shuttle, we see the inner mitochondrial membrane, which acts as a chemical barrier because this inner mitochondrial membrane is only freely permeable to oxygen, carbon dioxide and water. And other of the molecules are not able to cross this inner membrane easily without the carrier proteins. And the outer membrane is not shown here to make it easy. Although these molecules cross the outer membrane also to get into the cytosol. On the left hand side we have a mitochondria and on the right hand side we have a cytosol. And this shuttle will explain the transportation of acetyl COA from mitochondria into cytosol. So let's get started. First of all we have acetyl coenzyme molecule which is not able to cross the inner mitochondrial membrane. So for this, an oxaloacetate molecule combines with acetyl COA and forms a molecule called citrate. And this reaction is catalyzed by citrate synthase. And now this citrate is able to cross the membrane easily by tricarboxylate carrier protein in exchange for malate molecule which gets into mitochondria. So when citrate gets out of the mitochondria into cytosol, at the same time the malate molecule from cytosol gets into the matrix of mitochondria an exchange mechanism we will see when this malate gets into the matrix later on after citrate gets out of the inner mitochondrial membrane into cytosol the citrate reacts with cytosolic coa in presence of atp and gets cleaved down into acetyl coenzyme a and oxaloacetate and this reaction is catalyzed by citrate lyase a cleaving enzyme then after this acetyl coenzyme is used for fatty acid biosynthesis and the oxaloacetate molecule needs to get transported into the mitochondria bag but it's not able to cross the membrane. So first of all it gets reduced to malate by a reducing agent NADH and after it gets reduced the malate is able to transport into the matrix of mitochondria. So here occurs an exchange method a citrate molecule is exchanged for malate molecule. And here in the matrix, the malate is oxidized back to oxaloacetate by an oxidizing agent NAD+. 
and the auxiliary state again combines with acetyl coenzyme A and this reaction goes on and on. In this way, a shuttle continues in a cyclic manner. So this is a part first for fatty acid biosynthesis and in the preceding videos we will discuss about how fatty acids are getting synthesized from acetyl coenzyme which is now present in cytosol. Till now this is all about acetyl COA shuttle system. I hope you like the video. If you like it give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.